Hey there everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Borderlands 2. So we do have a bunch of side missions here, I'll do them later. I want to focus on story, you know, I'm, I'm going to push on a little bit because we've got quite a bit of story left to do in the game. I'd say we're almost, almost at the halfway point. The halfway point would be the next major boss battle and that's going to, uh, that's not going to be fun or easy unless I get the right tools to make it easy. It seems like the game doesn't like me having the tools that make my life easy. So we're just gonna push on through here and hopefully if I'm lucky, the game won't spawn things that will kill me. I'm never that lucky yet. all you guys oh goodness golly me all right i don't want to deal with your garbage another arm, another arm you're dead ion loader oh god arm breaking arm breaking arm Come on. There we go. Now let's go kill Jack's body double. Which, if you play Borderlands the pre-sequel, rather good reference because there's a class in there that is literally just handsome Jack. That's one of the body doubles Jack uses to confuse assassins and impress his underlings. <laughs> This guy takes a pretty hefty beat. Alright, there we go. Back it. No! Reloader. Die for me. Get out. Great. Okay, okay. Okay, I got to just hide for a second. Over the roses. And we should be good. I'll let them de aggro. Hey. Hey, here. What do I need to do? Oh, you can here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. True assassins. Let's go. Now that they've de aggroed. Did you know this? that some people on this planet still Why are you up there? I was a turret. That's like what we should be. Demons and ancient alien warriors? We like to call them bandits. Yes, this is going to work. If I get a few more samples of Jack's voice, I can make a voice modulator for you. Oh, what? You need to get more voice samples from the other info kiosks. Oh, great. Oh, God. Oh, Lordy. Here, die. Oh, dead. Now I gotta deal with bandits? This place is good for EFC coming, that's what it is for sure. Hey. Oh god, the sheer number of enemies coming out is not going out. Gonna take these and leave. Oh, I'm gonna use the info kiosks. Let's go grab this hey, one. Kids, did you know 
your chances of being disemboweled increase by 80,000% upon leaving opportunity. Great, now they're all coming out the woodwork. Fact. I almost have what I need. Just activate a few more kiosks. But yeah, as you listen to these kiosks, you realize Jack is just a dick. Not even, you know, hey, kids, a good type of dick, you know, you know with decent morals or so you know, those, those awesome villains with a warped Where sense of justice like, your is paid to like Thanos, here. who I, I believe is probably one of the greatest villains everyone. of Marvel history of all time, Remember, and, you know, or like Ultron. I like they Ultron too. I like the villains more than I do the heroes, to be completely fair. Because, you know, Thanos, he just wanted... Statistically, what would truly be a good universe, which is, guess what? Eliminate half of the universe, and there you go. You know, you don't fight for resources. You don't have to deal with famine, hunger, or those types of things anymore. And I'm like, you know what? That makes sense. Like, I mean, hell, they even do it in China. Where it's like, you know what? You can't have more than one kid because, guess what? We, we don't have the resources for it. Oh, wow, that was fast. Okay. Like, that makes sense to me in the sense of, you know, balancing resource use versus a quality of life. That, to me, makes sense. Now, do I think it's a good thing the way he went about it, just, you know, eliminating the universe? No. The hell was that that flew past my head? Oh, it was a leaf. You know, could there have been easier or better ways of doing it? Oh, most definitely. But doesn't make him a bad villain, it just gives him a warped sense of justice, which makes him a good villain. Did you know no, stop shooting me. No. Hey, stop. Like, that to me makes him a good villain. Or Light Yagami from Death Note. Which, if you... If you've even, you know, seen two seconds of Death Note, you know he's a fantastic villain. With a god complex. I love it. And the reason why he wants to be guys, because he's, you know, it stems from a good place. The, the, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, which is the best phrase of all time. But to me, that's what makes a good villain. You know, a villain with a good intention, twisting it in some way, shape, or form. The world itself made him realize, oh, you know, that is terrible because, you know, like, the world broke what he thought was good. So he tries to reform good the way it should be. Similar to what Stain was doing, in fact, in My Hero, My Hero Academy. You know, he thought heroes that were doing this for the money or heroes that were doing it for the fame, like Endeavor, like those heroes were bad heroes. And that makes sense because, you know, they weren't in it for just saving a life, which is what they should have been. The the hero. It's like, to him, those heroes aren't really heroes, they're just pretenders. And that's okay. That's understandable. And then it got to the point where he's like, you know what? To fix that, I've got to kill the bad heroes. I'm like, okay, you don't have to take it that far. How do you get up there? No way to get up there? Oh, yes, there is a stairway. Aha! Now I know. See, I learn things every day in this game. Oh, it's not a stairway. Hmm. He can't. Sorry, I can kill you from here. Die for me, buddy. Oh, yeah, like. Jack, on the other hand, is just a villain. Be a villain. He just wants to kill things. He's. Like, there, there's no real story behind it other than he's an, a madman. It's just, I want the power because people were dicks to me before, and guess what? I want it back. I want to be. I want to be the person with the power. That's all it is. You need to do that. You need to stop that. Die. Mind your business. Mind your business. Dead. Mind your business. You. Like, Jack's whole thing is. I just want to rule the planet because I can't. And it's not even like, oh, it's because I want a challenge. Or, oh, I need, you know, I need to just rule the world, kind of like Dr. Doom. Which to me, I don't like Dr. Doom as a villain in the sense of, oh, he's, you know, he has the whole power trip thing. He at least has reasons for his power trip. He wants to, obviously, he's power hungry. 
but he's similar to Black Adam in the sense that it's like, as long as I'm protecting my country, I don't care. So it's, to him, his country is the same thing. It's like his country is his base of operations, but it's also the country that he needs to lead as a whole. Dr. Doom, in that sense to me, makes a good hero, or not a hero, a villain, compared to, let's say, Jack, who's just doing this because, eh, whatever. The bandits are assholes, and I just wanted to get revenge on the people that treated me like shit. And I get it, you know, getting revenge, but it's like, do you need to go this far to do, to do that? How do I get down here again? I do not recall. How do I get down there? This way. Hold on, wait a second. Uh, upload samples to Angel. Oh, it's a loot loader! Hey, those are rare. Awesome, they're like the loot loaders. Hey, watch yourself. I was minding in my own business playing that loot loader. My loot. You lose your arms, that's what you get for jumping up here. That was your mistake. Buddy, use your helmet and you die. Where is that? Hot roll. Hey. I know we said to go grenade that. Oh, great. I'm gonna die again. I can hit this guy from way over here. I get lucky. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Not damage, not damage. Oh, my lord. I did it. Let me get back to work. Grenade. Ooh, Iridium. Stop cowering in the corner. You jerk. Whoosh. Take that. You die. Thank you. Have a nice never. I don't know what I was trying to go for there. It just happened. Okay, let me see. How do I get down there? Not to recall. Oh yeah, either way, Jack is just a dick. A dick. I, I don't know. I was gonna say he's a jackass, and he's funny. I was also trying to call him a dick at the same time. Just came out. But it's just, he's a jick from now on. How do I get down? I know there's some weird looping motion thing that I can do, but I don't remember from where. Angel, let me in, fam. Door here. Button. Angel, how do I get in? Oh. That location, fam. Ammo, though. There are some places where this game's going to take you over. Five, four, three, two, Hope you enjoyed lunch break. Back to work. Nope, not this way. Alrighty, so I'm going to just cut out until I figure out how I get back in there because I honestly don't remember. I haven't done this in a million bajillion years. I feel like an old man. It's me and you guys. What you doing, buddy? Dying? Oh, you dying, you say? Oh, that's a shame. That is a... Oh, shit. What? How many more of you? Does another one want to show up? Clean. I can't even access the loot. That's unfortunate. Interesting. I've, I haven't had that many loot loaders in a hot minute. What am I going with this? Okay, now that I'm back. Uh, let's see. Said so the second info kiosk. So apparently, this is really misleading. It's actually, where they, you're gonna come out of. 
Where I need to head is to other side, and I gotta jump down somewhere. I think it's over here. Down here. Go on. Yes. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. All right, there we go. Now I just feel stupid. Attach the pocket watch quickly. Right, let's see. What do we got here? <gasps> Things that are important. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. I need to grab these. Stuff. What I need to get rid of. Uh, no. Goodbye. I'm just gonna get rid of you. So, escape. Gonna just, uh... Escape again. Gonna drop this one. Base apparatus. Don't need either. I'll keep the fervid gospel. Or, I'm gonna keep the sniper. Or, oh, you know, slowly. Yeah, you're right. Slowly. I need to grab loot. You can chill, Angel. Why can't I use it? I see the files. I see the files. All done. Now grab the voice modulator. So here's a cool thing. You can grab this voice modulator. Great. Now, unfortunately, yeah. you, you will speak, speak like Jack until you reach the security door. Get to the door. I will tell you the password to open it at the appropriate time. As my voice changes, I cannot help but feel wrong. I sound like a jerk. By no. combat engineer. Oh, hi. No! See you soon. Find a way past the final door to Angel's control core, huh? Well, she's kept up her part of the bargain, surprisingly. Time to return the favor. Come on back and we'll steal ourselves a vault key. Let's go get that vault key, ladies and gents. Huh. Alright, so... Barring the time I spent, you know, searching for the this entrance the message there. To the Crimson Raider resistance. Do you see that shine? I'm just ignoring that. All right, so let's go ahead and turn in this mission because that mission isn't honestly that hard. It's just time-consuming But since I got about mm, Roughly half an hour sure. We're gonna try and you know, push up into the next This area. isn't a discussion. You're not going without me period. Look, I need you here protecting sanctuary If this turns out to be a trap, I need you to keep these people safe Oh Time to think up some memorable last words. This is it, everybody. Lilith, Mordecai, you're protecting the city. Brick will provide air support from Thousand Cuts, and I'll climb up to Control Core Angel from the cliff face. Any questions? Yeah. Why ain't I going? I gotta pay Hyperion back for Bloodwing. And you will, but for now, I need you protecting Sanctuary in case this is just another trap. You'll get your payback, Mordecai. I promise. Long as you say so, Roland. Vault Hunter. We have a shot at stealing the vault key and stopping Jack from waking the warrior. All you have to do is get past a force field that'll atomize you, destroy a bunker carrying enough firepower to level a continent, and get through a door you can't possibly open. That's his way of saying sounds easy. He's probably gonna die. It's time to get Claptrap to Thousand Cuts. We need him to shut down the force field. Make it painful, guys. This is gonna be fun! <laughs> we can do this. All right, so... I'm not at the right level to do the trick that I wanted to, so I'm actually gonna do this the old-fashioned way. Where is it? Actually, am I? Velocity. Oh, no, I, I am at that level. Okay, so this trick right here requires you to have this skill at minimum. Uh, I'll, I'll explain it once I actually get to the fight. However, what I do want is to switch out my weapons. I don't know why I said it like that. Weapons. I don't want this anymore. I want the best corrosive sniper that I've got. Let me, let me see. Zemeshat Pushka. Compared to 
The Gentleman Snyder. Where is it? Snyder does more damage, more corrosive chance, slightly less damage per second. Honestly, that extra 10 damage though is really nice. But this has extra crit damage. And deals bonus element. Okay, nope. I'm going to do this. Use this. I'm going to keep this in case something goes wrong. Also, this in case something goes wrong. And... That is in case something goes really, really wrong. It may take some serious convincing to get claptrap to hit the thousand cuts. Alright, and I'm going to stick some stuff in here. That way I have some more space. Oh. Taylor. Okay. Alright. Flappy. Get you to thousand cuts, my friend. Megan! Let's go to thousand cuts! Or not. I enlisted you as my minion, then Angel just happened to attack Sanctuary. Don't you get it? Jack was coming after me! It's time uh -huh. to take the fight to him! I'll meet you in thousand cuts! Interesting theory, Clavy. Oh god, he's stealthed on us. Let's go. Interesting theory, Clappy, my boy. Let me, let me do you one better. He ain't after you. He ain't after Roland or anybody else here. He just likes being a dick. What? Ow. Let's go ahead and get this mission started. If all goes well, I should be able to finish this boss fight. Yes, there is a boss fight coming. Wow, there's a loot goon goliath. Why are there so many of you loot boys here today? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. No, I did not mean to, I am sorry, sir. I'm very sorry you died. Die, die, die. Oh, 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 that could have been very bad. Stop shooting at me. I wanted the loot. I just wanted the fat loot. Look at this. Look at this. Fusion grenade. Mervs. Bob shock. Uh, homing transfusion. I'll take both. I had only grenades though, which makes me very sad boy. Goodbye, boys. We'll see you later. Me alone. Demand my freedom. Alright, we're here. Bloody knuckle point. It's go time. Loaders. Oh, oh. Ben is still gonna try to kill me? I'm not entirely sure. But I'm gonna help him out anyway. Honestly, you could just ignore this. Walk out. They literally just. Okay, they still hurt me. Cancel. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mark. Die. Ow, ow, ow. Right, bad idea. I'm doing it anyway. Please die, I am. I do like him. Oh, I'm out of it. Oh, not like this. Oh, not like this. Burn. Where is me? Oh, that gun was like 25. Hmm, I'm a little under level. Oh, why are you fighting? Oh, dear God. Okay, so the, the mobs definitely aren't your friends, even though you're on the same side. Goes. Thank you. Hmm. We're just gonna ignore these guys. Forget this. Flappy, my boy. Flap trap was here. Good work, Flappy. I'm gonna attack every inch of this mountain. I'm gonna provide some assistance. Yeah, you see, you don't want to walk Together through there. It will kill you. Right. You're not a Hyperion robot. I forget that sometimes. 
Can shoot through there though. Buzzards here defending us. Clap trap, open the door. Oh no, not the jet loaders. Oh god. Oh, you made it past the security wall, huh? That's uh it's real cute. Of course the bunker's still gonna obliterate you, but Man, no, I died. Oh Greek. See, this is what you want to do before you come here. Make sure you're actually fully stocked up. That was a very bad decision on my part. But I'm here now. I don't particularly enjoy this sniper. Got your arm. Got your arm. Another one. Another one. Another one. All right, he should be dead. Hey. Stop that. A green. See, these guys can stealth if I remember correctly. Oh, hey, wool, hey, wool. Oh, hey, wool. Oh, he died. That's why I don't like those shotguns. See, he's using the same one that lobs out the little grenades. I don't like it. Target. Oh. Eye shot. Arm. Down. Oh. Oh. Whoa. That's a lot of people. A lot, a lot of people. Jesus. Exploder, please. Die. Oh my. Oh, it gets covered. Gets covered. Reload, reload, reload. Exploder pops. Arms, please. Very bad thing. RPG loaders? That's a new one. I'll let you die. Oh god. Why 
health instructor, please. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, dear. Take that. And this. Thank you. Go faster. Yes. Oh, boy. This is... This is a very bad time. Oh, jeez. Oh, see Oh, no. Okay, I do not have the bullets to waste. I'm doing some bullets. Lots of more bullets. Oh, yes. Where are these assholes? Ew. That's another one. You. Another one. Another one. No. Who's this? Oh, that is rough. Really, really rough. Come on, more HP, please. HP and bullets. That's all I need. Sniper's got some shots, which is important. Now you see the next fight that's coming up, the next boss, is probably my favorite boss in the game. Right up there with the final boss. Like the final boss is oh, that is actually fun. Granted, I also love cheesing boss fights, and those are the two easiest ones to cheese. But outside of cheesing the boss fights, they're just really fun bosses. Like, their design is really interesting. Oh, those are buzzards. Their design's really interesting, and, like, as a whole, thematically, they fit the game really well. It was a goof, man. Like, I remember playing this the first time around. This boss fight was one of the most infuriating ones, but at the same time was one of the most fun ones. Alright, I can still grab it, though. Um, I don't have a Necromancer, so I don't care. Headshot skill, plus two. Sniper rifle damage, interesting. I'll pick up that sniper, though. Be careful, Slim. My boy has seen a ton of bad guys Oh, great, mortar shells. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not dealing with this again. Out of here, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Forgot about this. It's pretty hard to start fighting when the mortars are being dropped right on your head. But my particular tip is just... Oh, drop your shield, buddy. Increasing the pressure. Drop it. Thank you. No. No. Do not have the shots to waste right now. He is going to die now. I unloaded the worst. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me that. Thank you. Oh, no. More mortars. I saw it launch, too. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Should be good over here. I don't remember if the mortars start launching from here, but I know there's going to be a really tough fight. There's, it just starts spawning a whole bunch of crap. I think it starts with the turrets. Yeah, which is okay, so long as you stay hidden. Cover and... There's gonna be another, another badass door loader coming out the door. Brick with his amazing. Oh god, it's two of them. Oh lord, it's two war loaders. I'm not dealing with that mess today. I do not have this. Oh, I do not have this. Oh, I very do not have this. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Reload. Yep. Reloads killed me yet again! Okie doke. That's no fun. I swear half the time I spend this game dead. Alright, you know what? I won't do the boss fight this time because I want to actually give it 
you know, its own space. I want to devote proper time to it. Once I get through here, though, once I actually make it to the place where the boss fight is, that's where I'll stop, and then I'll just actually do the fight. You need to get back. Oh, God. The Warlord made it all the way over here. Oh. Oh, I played that so wrong, because I thought he was actually walking backwards. On, please. Yes. Who's your authors? You're way too much of a threat. Dropping his turret. You die. Jeez. Hey, the surveyor's here too now. Yeah. What? What? Oh, you have a turret back there. Oh, I can't snipe at it because I suck at sniping. Oh, lovely. And I've died yet again. Oh, this game infuriates me to no end. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you go at something either with your guns underleveled or your character underleveled. You start to die a lot. All right, let's try that again. Hyperion Soldiers. Right, surveyors. You should take damage for free. that and die. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. Y'all really caused me some troubles here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Be a pain in my neck. Ghost. You got bamboozled. Shut up. I die. You're next. All three of y'all causing me problems. Okay, there's gonna be one more badass in here, I think. Dead. Too many surveyors. Success. Hi. Bear down. Down. You're dead. Load. Make sure I don't lose all my ammo. Hey. This is the floating back. Take that. Take all that. Oh, whoa. Oh, the ball. Okay. The badass is already here. Okay. Oh, okay. This is what makes this really difficult. The badass is already a top sniping. You know, this is what I do. Breathe it in. Okay. I need not any fresh oxygen. Oh god, it's it. Oh hey, it's another loot mission. I've been killing you guys since the last one. I glitched out really bad. Oh, he used Earthquake. Please, bro. Bertha? Bertha, I ask you. 
behind me to relax. Stop spawning death. Oh, sweet mercy. This is going to be really rough. Oh, God. Oh, she's dead. Oh, thank God. I lied. Bertha, you, you suck. You're the weakest thing in the world. Oh, that did not just happen. Oh, sweet Jesus. I don't know how I killed it. I really don't. And yes, I called badass constructors Bertha. And Big Bertha. Hey, whoever's shooting at me, stop. Take 40 shots to the face, boy. I don't know why I call her Bertha. I just do. I question me. Boy, did I just kill you or did I kill your friend Steve? Hey, 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 hey. Come on, melee me, melee me, melee me. Who wins that fight first, boy? Oh, sweet Jesus. Go this way. You get loot. Sick loot. Grab all this. Let's see, what time is it? Mm, I can try the boss. Yeah, let's, let, 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 let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna do the boss. Good here. I know one unsk unspent skill point. Come on, give me money. Give me money. Thank you. All these. Thank you. Okie dokes. I should be able to kill the boss before the episode's over. I mean, that, that'd give us a lot of progress. We did all of opportunity. We we're actually about to hit the boss fight in about three feet. Like, it, it's, a, it's a really fun boss fight. It can be really rough if you're underprepared. Not sure if you I'm prepared. I got my hands on that ball key. See, a few years back, Wilhelm and I paid a visit to your little friend Tannis, and we beat her for hours. We ripped it out of her broken fingers. But we let her live because that's what heroes do. Mm -hmm. They show mercy. The so, wouldn't. You're coming up on the bunker. I'm sending some of my boys to. Wouldn't the hero not beat her down to near death? You know, rip it out of her broken fingers, as you put it. Oh, here's a quick Easter egg. Let me show it. There he is. See that guy way over there in the distance? A big old worm thing. You know, that's a giant thresher. See, that's a that's a boss. That is a boss. Like you, you do get to fight that thing. Honestly, I don't remember what his name is. I'll put it up on screen. But he is a boss that you have to fight. You can get there actually by going through here. Go over there and summon him. Oh, wait a second. We got to take out cannons and stuff? Oh, hold up. I don't remember this. I thought it was just we get up here, we fight the thing, and, and then we, it was going to be the end of the episode. But I've already, I've already gone too deep. That We're already here, so. protects the final door to my chambers. It will only deactivate once you've destroyed the bunker. Uh, I don't want to do this. This is a bad idea. The end is going to be too long. Mouth breathers, Jesus. All right, whatever. Let's go. Let's let's start. Let's start. I'm gonna see if I can do this fast enough. Take this cannons. Oh, we we coin it. There we go. Ow. There are 11 auto cannons. Oh, Jesus. You see, this is. This is the pretense to the boss fight, or like pretext. Like, your uh, prerequisite here. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Get on the box. <laughs> So you see how those are all red? You can stand on the ground and take two damage. Die yet? You're not dead yet. Hey. What you want to do is you want to jump up on boxes. Ah, that's right. The red spot. Oh, God. Red dot behind the actual cannons. You want to get onto a box like this? Wait for the lasers to pass. They do pass eventually. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you can be awesome with jumping. 
There we go. Shots are getting blocked. And yep. Uh, good guy. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, you know what? No. I'm gonna end the episode here, actually. So we'll come back and we'll deal with this next episode. You know, I'll have everything squared away. I'll be ready to actually try and do this without dying so i will catch you all here next time guys on let's play borderlands 2 where we take on the bunker we actually do the boss fight and then uh, get everything back. so either way guys i will catch you all here next time on let's play borderlands 2 if you like today's episode go ahead and give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below let me know what you think i could be doing to make this food more enjoyable or if you are enjoy it let me know and last but not least go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you already haven't hit that notification bell that way you know whenever i drop a new episode so, other than that, guys, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll catch you all here next time on Let's Play Borderlands 2. Have a great and wonderful day, everyone.